Christina Keneally, Jessie's parents, Julie and Roger, her brother Tom, her sisters, Hannah and Emily, grandparents, Gordon and Margaret, and most importantly, Australia's newest hero, Jessica Watson. <laughs> Jess, welcome back to dry land. Welcome back home to Australia. You know something? You may feel a little wobbly on your feet just now, but in the eyes of all Australians, you now stand tall as our newest Australian hero. You know, at 16 years old, you are a hero for all young Australians. You are also a hero for all young Australian women. You do our nation proud. We've spoken a lot in recent months over the satellite phone, sometimes more clearly than others. These conversations have been terrific. When we spoke on Australia Day, I asked you, what was your message for all Australians? What did you want me to tell the nation on your behalf? And what you said was three simple words. Live your dream. Jessica, today you have done just that. You have lived your dream. <laughs> Later that day, and I think you're about 5,000 miles west of Cape Town, in the middle of nowhere. Think of your geography books. There's not much out there, just the blue stuff and the grey stuff and the white stuff. No land. Out there, in the middle of nowhere, she then blogs to the rest of the world that we had this conversation, but to prove that she was Australian, she said, what was the most important thing that happened to her on Australia Day? Not talking to me as the Prime Minister, but that she finally fixed the dunny on the boat. <laughs> that proves she's a young Australian. I understand there have been problems still ever since. <laughs> you know something? This is a great day for our country. You do all of our hearts proud. When we spoke again on the phone, I asked you this question. What is it that you wanted to do most when you got back on dry land in Australia? And here speaks a young adventurer who has sailed single-handedly around the world. What did she want to do most when she got back to Australia? She said this, I need to learn to drive. <laughs> I need to learn to drive. Well, on behalf of the Australian Government, your keys to drive kit this provides you with one free lesson, courtesy of the Australian taxpayer, for you and your mum and your dad. And your mum and dad in particular. Channel 10, I understand, are providing an extra 10 driving lessons. Well, thank you, Channel 10. But the motto of this Keys to Drive campaign is find your way. You know something? you have no problems on that score. You will pass your driving test with flying colours as you pass the navigation test for the world. Jess, all Australians are proud of you today. Your family is proud of you. We are proud of you. All of Sydney is proud of you. All of our home state of Queensland is proud of you. All Australians are proud of you. In three years, in three days' time, you celebrate your 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Jess. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all of you have come out today, and if you're watching from at home now, three cheers for our newest Australian hero, our Jess Watson. Hip, hip. <laughs> hip, hip. <laughs> hip, hip. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
happy mum and dad. <laughs> thank you very much. Prime Minister, thank you. And of course, Jess, what a wonderful birthday present. And those other ten are because you did this without mum and dad. I think you can learn to drive without mum and dad. <laughs> I don't know. Now, of course, it's wonderful to have the Prime Minister here to officiate at such an historic and momentous occasion. But, you know, this wouldn't happen without the support of the Premier of New South Wales and the events team at New South Wales. And I would like to thank them all for realising and helping Jess realise her dream and to give her the welcome home that she so richly deserves. Please, everyone, welcome to the stage the Premier of New South Wales, Christina Keneally. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Prime Minister. And most of all, thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Julie and Roger, for what is just a great excuse to come out on a beautiful Sydney day and to celebrate your achievement. I'm quite certain that nothing could have prepared you for the reaction you've received today. But you know what? You're possibly the most powerful person in Australia because you've kept the Prime Minister and the Premier of New South Wales and all of these people waiting for hours just so we could celebrate your return. Sorry. <laughs> she just said sorry. <laughs> Well, of course, Jessica, I personally had the opportunity with your mother, Julie, to Skype with you this week and Minister for Ports and Waterways, Paul McClay. What we saw was a brave and vibrant young girl following her dream. I also saw someone a bit humble, a young girl just looking forward to sleeping in her own bed, to uh, eating a slice of pavlova and not having to do the dishes afterwards. Well, Jessica, I'm sure you won't have to do the dishes afterwards tonight. You've truly captured the hearts of all Australians and you've inspired them. Most young people are fearless and you seem particularly so, but take it from me, Jessica, there's so many of us who wonder if we can risk to do what we dream. We get afraid of risks, we start to doubt, but you have reminded us in a most spectacular way that life itself is a risk and those who don't risk never win. And Jessica, you have won. You have won against fear and doubt. You have won against fear and doubt. You have won against fatigue and isolation. You have won against the knockers and the doomsayers. And no matter how history records your achievement today, you have written into our hearts and the hearts of this nation a great symbol of courage and dignity and it is wonderful to be here with you today. A cynic I heard on the radio the other night, who shall remain nameless, asked, what's the point? Well, I say the point is all around you here today, in the thousands of boats, in the tens of thousands of well-wishers of all these people who have come out to celebrate with you. Our community is at its best when we come together, whether it's to overcome a challenge or to celebrate human achievement, and today we celebrate yours. You have inspired us, you have reminded us what is all possible, you have reminded us to follow our dreams. And this is what you have given to Sydney today, a wonderful gift. And you see on this harbour our way of saying thank you, Jessica, thank you, and welcome home. Thank you, Premier.